Hi everybody, I just thought I'd let you on the latest thing I'm doing. Um, a friend told me about um, this micropore tape, it's just normal surgical micropore tape. Uh, the good thing about it is that it tears quite easily. So that when you want to come around a, uh, around a corner, it, um, it tears off nicely. So this is to give me a, a space of just clay body. This is, the rest of the pot's going to be uh, white crackle glaze. And I've got the oxide strip here and then the pegs are going to come through and the wooden pegs will show through there. But this is very good because it does have a slight, you can have, put a slight bend on it if you need to follow a line. And also it'll give you a really nice straight line. Um, the side I'm concentrating on is this side because obviously I shall dip it on its side it will give me a really nice straight edge. So that's how easy it is. <coughs> Lid will have a glaze on the top and it'll have a turned wooden handle up here and wooden pegs in. Um, it's a few to do. And I'll just show you one of the other ones and so something that you need to remember if you're using this kind of technique is that this one here has got oxide sprayed on it now if I just spray the oxide straight onto the biscuited pot when I came to, when I come to take the tape off afterwards it'll pull obviously it'll pull all the oxide off so if you're gonna you need to plan ahead if you're gonna um, have a texture on like this which is oxide and when it fires to stoneware temperature these will get a lot more pronounced and a lot more speckled um, you need to put the oxide on when it's green dry or bone dry and uh, then biscuit fire it and then obviously it doesn't come off when you peel the tape off that's going to have a window of white glaze on there because i'm going to put, put a, a ceramic transfer on all you need is a normal um, printer laser printer everybody's got one uh, and a laminating machine and i'll go through that technique when i come to do it i've not done it yet <laughs> so it might turn out wrong but if you look on the internet uh, you can look at how to do it. There's there's there's, ex, there's uh, description videos on there. Uh, it's very good, quite cheap. You just have to print up an A4 sheet and then you can cut it up and apply whatever shapes or whatever decals you want on your pots. So these are going to have um, flames and various different textures, and then it's going to have a wire grid on the front. Um, I'll just show you one now that I've just done. Let me just get it. I've done this is a, a slab piece I've used wood to impress a bark effect I've used a white uh, body and then I've put a green um, engobe over the top with with brown uh, oxide just flashed over the top of it these are the wooden pegs these are the same wooden pegs that will go in these pots here I've got some barbed wire that I've made from um, copper wire annealed it on the cooker so it bends nice and easily, so I've made some of that. And these are the these are just some photographic prints that I'm using just to try what it looks like behind. So there's a scene there that will go on as a deco. Or there's whoops. Or there's various te textures I've photographed. That's a grate, uh, a storm drain grate with um, uh, uh, polystyrene packaging that's fell down it so that's quite nice that might go under there so I'm just playing around with the images that I've got that's actually a photograph of barbed wire going behind the barbed wire so uh, and then we've got flames okay these flames will go on in front of these pots as well they're just simple printed photographs uh, on plain paper just to give me an idea of what the design's going to be and then I'll show you the finished piece this is a wall hanging obviously it's going to have a, a block of wood attached to the back with a wire and that will hang and there's a series of those that I'm doing for this exhibition um, I'll do a video of it when it's all set up I'm, I'm actually putting the exhibition up next week so um, I'm trying to get all these done and this is my last firing before I have to start putting them up so 
Anyway, that's enough of me waffling on. Um, I'll show you these when they come out of the kiln. Okay? Fantastic.